Does your team know what an exceptional customer experience should look, sound, and feel like? Well, if the answer is no, allow me to explain. Another great way of defining excellence is to also consider what an exceptional customer experience should look, sound, and feel like from the customer's perspective. So here are my recommendations. Our surroundings should always look clean or immaculate and well-organized. Employees should be professionally attired, wearing their proper name tag so customers know exactly who they are. Customers should be greeted with a warm, friendly smile, positive eye contact, and employees demonstrating a sincere desire to meet their needs. Next, what should exceptional service sound like? Will a kind greeting, for example of, good morning, I'm Theo, how can I assist you? We should be clear in our speech, avoiding any terms or phrases that might confuse the customer. And when answering telephone calls, we should always use a four-part greeting, which might sound like, Good morning, Human Resources. This is Theo. How may I assist you? And last, how should our customers feel when we are assisting them? Well, the answer is valued, respected, well served, that we are competent in our job, have a sense of urgency to resolve any problem that they have, and that we work well as a team. So in reviewing this list, what would you add? Well, in the final analysis, again, it's extremely important that everyone is fully aligned with what an exceptional customer experience should look, sound, and feel like.